the treatment related factors uh, that we use to stratify uh, patients for what uh, treatments to give them to prevent chemo induced nausea and vomiting um, are really the drugs themselves, the chemotherapy drugs themselves. There's a very specific list that breaks the chemotherapy agents down into highly metagenic, moderately metagenic, low chance of emesis, and then none. Um, there's several drugs in that highly emetogenic category uh, that 90% uh, plus of patients unless adequately treated will get uh, nausea and vomiting. Uh, some of the classic drug, probably the most classic drug we think of is uh, cisplatinum. Uh, then there's the next category, moderately emetogenic, which is probably the biggest category with the most number of chemotherapy agents. And that means that about 30 to 90 percent of patients will uh, get nausea and vomiting if untreated. And also, well, the thing to think about is a lot of patients are treated with combination chemotherapy. So if they get a couple of drugs from the moderately emetogenic category, they're really highly emetogenic. And the only reason it you know, makes sense to really pay attention to this is then if you're following guidelines, national guidelines for the treatment, you find the category that it's in, then you use those guidelines.